thing I think I've said a million times that I essentially have no respect for teachers because they don't teach you anything important and they don't teach you how to learn, they don't teach you how to spontaneously think. They don't teach you about creativity. What they do is they want you to go home and memorize garbage so you can pass a multiple guess test and score well on an SAT score. That SAT score reflects on the school or institution so they can get more government funds to funnel into it. That's all they care about. They don't actually care if you learn anything. What if yeah, people were to learn important things? I like to talk about the Delphic uh, Maxims. I don't know if you're familiar with them. There's a list of 147. There's actually more as they've been added on to throughout the years, but essentially 147 Delphic Maxims. You could look that up. They're kind of all over the place. They're inscribed on the Temple of Apollo at Delphi. Um, they've kind of been around for a long time. They're attributed, of course, to Apollo. They're attributed to uh, many muses that were supposedly channeling Apollo. I'm not going to comment on that one way or another. I'd like to go over uh, some of the 147, just a small number of them, and then go over some of the ones that I came up with. You can see if you agree with the ones that I came up with. But imagine if kids were to, and this is something important to memorize these Delphic maxims, right? It actually is. Way better than two or three years of elementary school would be for a child to memorize these. Some things are actually important to memorize and apply them to their lives so they can actually lead a wholesome, healthy life. You know, wouldn't it be great if people led a wholesome, healthy life, said the fat guy who's out of shape, yeah, I know what I look like and then I'm out of shape. You know, led a, he a wholesome, well-balanced life? Wouldn't that be awesome if like a huge percentage of people did that, then society would actually work halfway normally instead of being circling the toilet like it is right now? Let's go over just a few of these and I'd like to give you some of mine. Let you. Uh, if you want to add some of yours, I read every comment, so I enjoy reading them, and uh, I, uh, I'm an information sponge. I actually mean that. Here's uh, one of the Delphic maxims, long for wisdom. How true, how true. Praise the good or praise the divine. On reaching the end, meaning the end of life, be without sorrow. It's true. You, you sh should understand natural order. shouldn't be without sorrow because sorrow actually is a, a tether or an anchor line that ties you to uh, sorrow after the end, as meant. Make promises to nobody. Very true. You shouldn't make promises to people. Grieve for no one. Once again, that's uh, the same as grieving for yourself on reaching the end. You shouldn't grieve for people, but people do that. Never ever tire of learning. Here's a good one that people uh, should remember. This is important because people say, oh, just don't hate it. It has just like everything is good, including like evil and filth, which I find extremely reprehensible that people believe that. And here's the Delphic maxim. It's called despise evil. Evil should be despised. There's a saying that I have, which goes like this. I came up with it. The fools hate him for the same reason the wise love him. Nobody's wholly praised or wholly blamed, and uh, no one should seek praise from uh, fools or the unwise. Act without repentance. Yeah, act without repentance. In other words, don't look back and, you know, constantly, you know, try to uh, live what has already come and gone. Be jealous of nobody. There's a really good one. Always be on your guard. Praise hope. Very, very important. I tell these materialists and these existentialists, which are so incredibly foolish, and these, they're mathematicians what they are, is that they don't realize that the entire world spins off of things that are not objective. You can't weigh them, you can't measure them, you can't hold them. The entire world since ancient, ancient days has been run off of hope, faith, hatred, Love, lust, you know, there's a list of these. These are not things that can be counted. They're not objects. You can't feel them. You can't see them. The entire world works off of these things that nobody can lay their hands on. Remind that next time you talk to a, uh, an evil materialist. Uh, always be on your guard. Yeah, I already said that one, excuse me. <laughs> Consult the wise. There's a really good one. Consult the wise. Um, be a seeker of wisdom. Very true. Wisdom is in this many times in the 147 Delphic uh, maxims, and that's because nothing is higher than wisdom. Long for or desire wisdom. 
They say desire is bad, and that's generally true. Well, it's not generally true. It's always true except for the case of wisdom. The reason why one should desire is that in ancient Pali, there's a word called kusala versus akusala, wholesome versus unwholesome. All desires are unwholesome, akusala, except for one, which is desire for wisdom because it can be fulfilled. All of the desires are a bottomless pit which could never, ever, ever be fulfilled. Here's some of mine. Tell me what you think. You agree, disagree, doesn't make any difference. Um, cherish uh, both being right and being proven wrong. I keep telling this to people, and people don't get it. People, this is a reason why I used to teach archery and marksmanship. I used to teach all sorts of different stuff. I used to be a concealed carry instructor, teach stuff to people. Women are way better than learning at men because they don't have such a puffed up sense of themselves. They're more, much, much better of an information sponge on learning stuff. Men are like, I know everything. <laughs> you know how they are. Is if you're proven right, then you know you're on the right track. If you're proven wrong, then you've been pointed on the right track and you're closer to the truth. Whether you are right or whether you're open, you have to be open to be pr being proven wrong. That is something to be cherished. Everybody should always cherish being proven right, and they should cherish even more being proven wrong. Yet, stupid human beings are just, yeah, they, they hate being proven wrong. They do anything to fend off being proven wrong because they think they are their beliefs, and this is really, really evil, and of course, it's the basis of ignorance. Everybody should always, something that's such an important thing, every child should be taught. Every child on earth should be taught that, and yet none of them are. You should cherish being right, and you should cherish even more being proven wrong. It's so important, I went over and over it again, excuse me. Nothing is higher than wisdom. Agree or disagree, you can't actually refute that because it's self-defeating. To say something is higher than wisdom is to actually be self-defeating, so nothing is higher than wisdom. Here's uh, another one that I, all of these I came up with over the many years. I stick by them and uh, because they've always proven to be true. Nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. Here's the other one that should apply uh, to uh, politicians. They should uh, put that in every politician's head, this one. Seek no power outside of yourself. Anybody that wants power over others or power, is a power objectively, like, <laughs> seek no power outside of yourself. There's a a, uh, a universal maxim that everybody should learn. No man seeks to learn things which he arrogantly thinks he already knows. It's so important. Nobody goes looking for things also, too, that they deny exist. Exist, and I mean the absolute sense, not in the conventional objective sense. Kind of like these so-called Buddhists who are soul-denying. They're soul-denying nihilists. You can't find the soul objectively. When I say go looking for it, I don't mean objectively. I found it! There's my soul! My soul, of course, implying possession. Something has something else. That, of course, is entirely illogical and insane and irrational. You never go looking for that, which you ultimately absolutely are sure of in your mind doesn't exist. I'm going to go looking for the soul and transcendence. I don't believe in the soul. Well, it's just a silly belief system you have in your head. It's not fact and it's not natural order. So... Here's a really good one I came up with. Fools describe and the wise explain. Yeah, descriptions are not explanations. Fools describe and the wise explain. If you're the smartest person in the room, then your mind will rot and you'll, you're also in the wrong room. That's a really important one. I'll let you think about it and figure it out. If you're the smartest person in the room, then you're not only in the wrong room, but your mind will rot. Fools seek to debase the wise seek to elevate. Here's another one that I came up with a long time ago. No man raises himself up by digging holes out from under other people. Let me repeat that because it's so important. This is what all the modern world does. Some people, you know, you should dig the hole out from under them, not because you want to raise yourself up, but because, you know, they're spouting lies and filth and garbage and nonsense, but no person raises himself up by digging holes out from underneath other people. Here's another one. The, wise, the wiser one becomes, the more evil one must necessitatively see around himself or herself. Think about that one for a second. Stupid people don't see evil anywhere. Wise people see ev evil everywhere. 
There's a reason why very wise people are highly self-tortured. I don't mean objective torture, I'm talking about uh, metaphysical torture. The wiser one becomes, the more evil one must necessitatively see around himself or herself. Here we go. It's far, far superior to make something yourself than to buy same made from others. That one kind of be, should be self-obvious. The more, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> more rare than diamonds are those without an agenda and those who can be trusted. So something rarer than gold and diamond is a person without an agenda and those who can be trusted. Human beings being unwise only see actions and never motives. Ultimately, evil is of the mind and not of the hand. People see evil actions, but they don't see intent. Here's another one of mine. Well, all of these are mine. Never identify with the life seen in the mirror. Never identify with that which you see in the mirror. Laws and politicians exist only to keep fools in check. Morality has no bearing on liberation or wisdom. Those who obey natural order have no need of laws, of government, or superficial morality. Wisdom commands natural order, and to obey natural order engenders wisdom. This is a universal maxim from one end of the universe to another. That's the only reason why laws and politicians exist, is to keep fools in check. Morality has no bearing on wisdom or liberation either. To follow natural order is to have complete uh, lack of need for laws, morality, and certainly so politicians. Nobody that obeys natural orders is uh, someone that uh, disobeys the law. So, anyway, tell me what you think of these. I've actually got a long, long list of these. Well, those are the primary ones I kind of extracted out. But just think how much better children would be instead of like uh, going home and sometimes memorization is good. You need to learn how to think. Memorization, you know, has its limits. But some things should be memorized, like the Delphic Maxims. Lead a wholesome, balanced life where you seek wisdom, you know, you do what is right, you have a much, much, much happier life. But life is not about being happy. It's about leading a, a wholesome, true life, you know, which ripens into the maturity of wisdom and many other maturities. Nobody's brought up being taught that stuff. These are maxims that have been around for many, many thousands of years, and yet most people have never heard of the Delphic maxims. That's, that's pretty evil. That's twisted. And we got computers everywhere. Everybody's got a cell phone. You know, everybody could have this stuff on their phones and their computers. It's not like communication is an issue anymore in this world. I mean, you could go to the deepest deserts of Nairobi and someone will have a cell phone. Everybody should already have these maxims in their head. They're irrefutable. Knowing 147 Delphic maxims and kind of uh, styling your life to fit them is way better than countless years of uh, memorization of trash. What's the capital of Nebraska? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? If you want to know the capital of Nebraska, look it up on your phone. Like, go like, uh, Siri, hey Siri, what's the capital of Nebraska? Who cares? People waste their lives, you know, listening to these, these ignorant teachers that are not actually teachers. They brainwash kids' minds. They sap all desire for learning from their heads. They ruin people. You know, it's like all of society and the entire world is being ruined either by stab juice, evil so-called teachers that are not actually teachers, and a million systems of controls and taxes, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, our ancestors would be so ashamed of us that we've come this far technologically, which is not really that far. We're so ashamed of us. It's like, oh, you got cars and TV sets and computers, but you've de evolved to, into butt scratching apes eating microwave dinners and watching uh, reruns of Seinfeld. They would be so disgusted with us. I mean, that's not my opinion. That's a fact. And you sure as hell aren't going to deny it. Anyway, 
Thanks so much. You want to contact me, whatever, check out my description below. Most people forget the description. Have a lovely week. Bye.